was good, everybody? Uh, this is your boy, the Traveling Clat, kind of hosting my first ever unboxing here on the Jurassic Park podcast channel. Um, I'm not showing you guys my face today because my hair is all kinds of messed up. I just woke up, but I got something really cool in the mail today, um, and I thought I would do a little bit of unboxing. Uh, I talked to Brad, and he said it would be cool to see this thing up on the channel. So this is the new packaged up hatch and play model for the uh, Dino Rivals line. So for me personally, this as a kid was my favorite type of toy to play with um, in the Jurassic Park series. I had the Jurassic Park 3 ones that were made by Hasbro, which were kind of reskinned from the Kenner versions. Um, and they've had these for every iteration of the movie besides Jurassic World. So they had them for Jurassic Park 1, Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, and then now Fallen Kingdom. Um, and so they've had four other models of this, the Stinky Moloch, the Triceratops, the brown T-Rex and the Velociraptor Blue for the first kind of Fallen Kingdom line and now they've just come out with the baby Stegosaurus model and a green T-Rex and I actually ordered this on Amazon a few weeks ago and they cancelled my order for the normal retail price which was supposed to be 15 bucks um, and I had to actually pick this one up for double the price but I wanted to get my hands on it because the baby Stegosaurus in The Lost World is one of my favorite dinosaurs in the whole series, and to have anything close to that is so freaking cool, and I just feel very grateful that we're even in the presence of this thing. Look how cool this thing looks. It's kind of reskinned like the new Dino Rivals Stegosaurus from the, well I guess the Dino Rivals line, it's skinned to that kind of like brown, dark brown texture, it's kind of missing that white, um, and I think they all have a bit of an action feature. I have all four of these from the first line at home but I have never opened them up and now I'm abroad um, but here on the back you can kind of see the green T-Rex that's still yet to come out I haven't really seen it anywhere and then the baby blue which I'm sure will be repackaged but it's kind of a look at the box it has the really nice Dino Rivals you know packaging and I'm gonna unbox this thing real quick get this thing out of the box alright so this thing comes in three pieces um, technically I mean, technically four with this little manual, and I have to say the image on the manual, look at those eyes, that looks so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, it comes in three pieces. I do have to say that I kind of hate about the Mattel packaging, is you really have to kind of destroy the packaging if you want to get this thing out of here. It kind of is annoying, because I really like keeping the packaging, but to me it's not too much of a big deal, because I'm definitely planning on buying another one of these. Um, hopefully when I find it for a more normal price, because I paid $30 just for this one. Um, but I do intend on trying to do a sort of repaint on it and see if I can get it to the colors of the movie, the Lost World movie, even though I don't think it's too, too far away. It would be cool to have something that looks a little more similar. So the model itself is so nice, I have to say. Maybe besides the eyes just being a really bright orange, which is a little creepy, um, I think... The rest is really cool. The action feature is a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is to a Stegosaurus. I don't think they were ever, ever able to actually pull their frills up and down into their body, but it is cool. You have a little bit of movement there in the tail. You got movement in the feet. And I don't think any movement in the head, no. But an awesome sculpt in my, I, in my opinion, I think it looks so awesome. I'm not a professional toy reviewer by any means, but I just love the model on this thing. I, look, I think it looks so awesome. And I like that they actually incorporated the frill to be the movement piece, so it doesn't feel like it's out of the way or anything. But that's cool. And then you have the actual egg piece. Um, you got the top and the bottom. And I think the way that this works is that you're supposed to be able to put the dinosaur in here. Am I putting this on backwards? No and you should be able to pop them out. So I think, let's try to, I'll try to figure this out and I'll be right back. Cool, so I played with this thing a little bit and I figured out how to actually get it in. So the instruction manuals actually makes you bend the tail forward and the legs forward. And then the concept is you put it in the little egg and you gotta try to match up these things right here. And then stick that on and you can kind of hear it wind a little bit. And then you can put it down all right, it does that like a little pre-wind, and then you give it one more push. Okay, maybe one more time. <laughs> I 
and that's the action feature. It hatches, and then you can play with it, hence the name Hatch and Play. So, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a little gimmicky, but um, I think it's pretty awesome. I remember when, when Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was coming out, and I was seeing images of these guys surfacing online. I was super excited, because I loved the ones that were in the, uh, the Hasbro line and the Kenner line when I was a kid. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the egg doesn't actually close all the way. So you can really only close it like that. It won't actually close the whole entire way. And I have to say I don't like this that much, the little eye poking out. But I understand this is, once again, demographic is not me, it's children. And so I don't really have much room for complaint, but there you go. That That is pretty cool. I think I would have loved that as a kid. So that's a little look at the Dino Rivals Stegosaurus Hatch and Play. This is everything you get. This is the manual. This is this. And this is that. Uh, I think, once again, this is just another sign of how amazing the toys that Mattel is making. I think they're just so incredible, and I just feel grateful to be an adult in this day and age of being able to buy all this stuff. So, um, hopefully these things start hitting shelves and are not super hard to find in the future. But if they are, here is a first look for you. And uh, if you guys want to follow me anywhere, you can follow me on Twitter at TravelingClat, or you can find my YouTube channel. It's called The Dinosaur Channel, where I have a bunch of informational videos about dinosaurs, including this little stegosaurus. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks again for letting me host this, Brad. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.